Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Good morning, MIC. This is Sam. Bringing you guys in on a live trade here on APOP. Hitting this four line on a death line setup. This is a setup I like because there is no news on the setup. So um, I'm just waiting for pops to short. What I'm not liking is how it's still kind of holding up a little. So far holding a support level. Um, I think we could get another push up here. I'm just really hoping for a big slam uh, under the 75 and then that'll be the confirmation. I'm gonna wait here. I want to get a little more size on, but I just want to be a little cautious because it is still somewhat strong. And there's the slam. Got a thousand and ninety. The thing is, though, now if it if it was to make a new high, it's gonna freaking rip. Here it's still looking weak. I'm waiting for the 360 break. So now VWAP should reject here, it did. Now it should consolidate low and push on the death line. And here bounces right off my cover like usual. <laughs> Alright, we fill some. So that's nice, get some low day covers. So I'm gonna wait and re add on a pop. That same share size, 2500. I'm going to add it back at. Um, add it into this line here. And there's a death line breach. So now I have confirmation that I can short the next pop. So I will be shorting around this 366 to 370-ish level. So hopefully we get that pop. I'm going to set my order. One for 369. One for 364. I'm not sure if we'll even get it. I want to keep some size on for a bigger tank, but um, I wish I got my 7,500 shares. That's how much I located on this. Now, since this has no news and this is a favorable setup, other than the SSR, I, I will be keeping it till the three line. All right, got my MIC hoodie. Now we can trade. Without the MIC hoodie, it's hard to trade. <laughs> My head is 64. 
I did bring my average considerably down somehow, that 1,000. So that 1,000 shares here <laughs> brought my average down 10 cents. That's why I hate adding to a... Uh, I mean, it's like... I don't hate adding to a winner. It's just... I'm like really cautious just because it literally fucks up your average. I like to think of it as like you're using your profit to pay for new shares. And I mean, that's pretty much what you're doing. And it's like, if the trade uh, ends up going against you and you just lowered your average, you're not going to be as comfortable in the trade. So once I get these uh, two ads on, my ad my average might even be low a little lower than VWAP, but... That's fine. So now we'll see here. We are seeing some strength. I would I would want to see a wash of this thirty three, on this on this dip. That'd be nice because then I have about two thousand shares. Um, so I'm gonna keep the video till about two hours exact, and then I'll just turn and take it off because um, I don't want to make it too long. Hopefully you guys stuck around for this end. I'm sure a lot of people just skip through till the end. I don't blame you. Uh, I was quiet during a lot of it. I just, you know, you set your order, you set your stop, and you set your covers, and then you let the trade work. Simple as that. <clears throat> so now I'm holding for potentially red to green. You know, I'm not sure if it'll get there, but who knows. If it pops, you know, I'm shorting again, so... Okay, I'll keep it for another, I guess, seven minutes, I think it is, and then take it off and, yeah, see SPY breaking out. I don't have anything else really planned on the day. I, I was sort of looking at other stocks, but, you know, the second I saw APOP, I was like, I'm just going to focus on this one. And, you know, you could also always, in my case, you know, I have three separate stocks, let's say, here. So, you know, rather than, if they're in all nice setups, you know, you could take like small size in each and then this way you have great risk because you're in small size and then you could just let each one work. So let's say I only had a thousand shares here and then like, let's say there's a different stock, a thousand shares and like a third stock, a thousand shares. And then, you know, each one can tank a dollar, let's say kind of like this one, that's still a great profit. So I'm just trying to find shit to talk about, honestly, <laughs> but, but yeah, I do that a bunch of times. Yeah, just sort of waiting. You know, if this goes red, then freaking this shit can go to like two bucks, which would be insane. And then I'd, I'd be the fool for covering here. But again, that's greed because nine times out of ten, this is not going to slam red. The only thing that reason why I'm holding a little, or like I was more pressured to hold aside from the uh, death line setup was that freaking OPGN yesterday, like tank all the way, went red, that fucking offering said yesterday too to like my tab group i was like this just fucking has the offering look and then sure enough because yesterday i closed they had it. i didn't even see that well wow. today thursday yeah thursday okay nice freaking hate weekends for almost 2k i mean 500 shares still in 2k isn't that crazy too it's like 500 shares is only 2k i mean i don't want to say only yeah, that's a lot of money but 2k and then you can make yeah you fucking short it at four um you know you can make 500 bucks like that's literally 25 percent it's freaking awesome so so yeah Wish I took like fucking 50,000 shares, <laughs> but I'm not Alex. <laughs> I mean, even still, Alex doesn't even use that much, that kind of size anymore because you, you really don't need to, honestly. If you, you know, with that sort of size, it's it's so hard to get out from what I've realized. Even like a bunch of times on setups, you know, even like small caps or in general, large caps, whatever the stock is, like even like 7,500 shares like 10,000 shares, like it's pretty hard to, to get out if you like need to just get the fuck out. Like you're going to have at least like almost 10 cents of slippage when you try to just get the fuck out. So um, it's tough. 
So there's 380, uh, 278 graph. I'm gonna see if it bounces off low today. I'll, I'll set it for a little lower. I guess 75, whatever, we'll do that, 75. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.